A Plague of Lighthouse Keepers is the masterwork of Sars I'm concerned for Van de Graaff Generator. Plague of Lighthouse Keepers is widely regarded as the, the jewel in Van de Graaff Generator's crown. It's certainly their most intense and confusing hour. It's over 20 minutes in length and it's a magnificent story. For me personally, it probably is their greatest achievement. I think it was something that was waiting to happen. As far as I remember, um, it was a complete surprise when we got to the TV studio to find out that we were playing A Plague of Lighthouse Keepers. It was not what we thought we were there for to do. We thought we were just going to play our set. And so we had a crisis meeting and we decided we could do it in two halves. So they did a half, one half with sparklers and one half with candles. <laughs> and that's what we did. In hindsight, of course, you know, watching that performance, it, it's, it's, it's exceptional. It is exceptional. It's a fantastic feeling because we never, we would never try our hardest to get across the point, you know, to get across the emotion because the, the tunes are very, um, they're very emotional. They're very, very beautiful. The opening theme is absolutely divine. It's one of my favourite tunes, Peter's tunes. Um, and the end, of course, is a very, very uplifting anthem. Plague of Lighthouse Keepers is a 23-minute opus that was divided up into 10 different sections, um, which had such sort of curious titles as Custard's Last Stand or The Clot Thickens which I suppose is what Van, for Van de Graaff passes as humour. But of course, length isn't always everything. Uh, and, you know, you can lose your way very easily. You get bits where the band do the jazz thing. Uh, you, know, um, you know, we hope you like our New Direction Jazz Odyssey kind of off in all directions. But see, the great thing about it is it always keeps on drawing back to a central theme um, and, and climaxes quite superbly. I think the final piece, the final piece, which is called We Go Now, that melody, was perhaps the starting piece, and I actually wrote that piece as my, my music. And I think Peter was very taken with that melody. I think he was very taken with him, although I didn't get to play on it. This is somewhat ironic, you know. You wouldn't let me play up, no. <laughs> Can I play a little, no. <laughs> Don't need you on that bit. <laughs> okay, all right. This is a self-contained story. This is a story of a lighthouse keeper and how he deals with death, with life, with not being able to save ships that crash on the rocks. We're not bothering to save some ships that crash on the rocks. It's got guilt, it's got frustration, it's got agony, it's got angst. It's a wonderful piece of work. There's some mad ideas, mad ideas. There's some beautiful melodies. There's some very, very powerful things. All the complicated bits, the sudden changes, are there for a reason. They're there for a musical reason, and they carry the story on. They carry the meaning of the lyrics on further. And the, the, the playing on it is just amazing throughout. Now, that doesn't seem very much. It's like an absolutely mad march. But you put everybody starts playing that with all the harmony and all the rhythm and all the ingredients and uh, the insane rhythm, and it, it just becomes a march of the mad zombies. It's absolutely exhilarating to play. His musical hallmarks, I suppose, are the fact that you get songs, you get instrumentals, sections that are in different time signatures, and it goes back to sort of more standard four four basic songs. Then you get sound effects, you know, experimentation bit of sort of jazz type of improvisation, squeaks, thumps and bangs as well. And then back to another song and then, you know, maybe the, the finale, you know, being a bit mixture of a bit of vocals and a bit of instrumental. So it was a, 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 a mix and match of, of all their musical styles into one long piece. It's just an incredibly impressive piece of music because it features quite disparate musical styles within the whole piece and yet it all works 
as 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 one piece of music and that's the, the, the you know it was obviously the great trick that not a lot of bands could pull off but the best of them like van der graaf generator could do it if you listen to lighthouse keepers it's very good but there are parts which are, which are quite disjointed within it. And that, I think that's fairly obvious that's going to happen. I mean, Peter Hamill wrote this as separate songs or separate parts, and then the band pulled it together. One of the elements that the band brought to it was that at various times you would have half the band playing one section of the piece, while another, the other half of the band played another section of the piece. Now, strange as it may seem, it did actually work at times, although you had to be concentrating pretty carefully to get it. It's quite breathtaking and quite brilliant in its design, in its complexity and in its execution. And I think it's the highlight of Van de Graaff Generator's career.
say.